previously on the season. Have there been many overlap opportunities out your side? We don't let them back in now, they're not going to come back at all. We're good, we're good, next minute. Just get back in the game. Look at this body height, look at this driving here by BBC. There it is! And there's a try! No, this is where heaps could feel back. How many tackles you get on my again? <laughs> Enough of that, okay. <laughs> More like how many tackles did I miss? Pilfers? Just two. Just... No, you had some good runs, but. <laughs> yeah, heaps of runs. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have like two. The no? Nah. Mason play. Mason just a freak, but no. Yeah. Oh, just try savers. Just try savers though. Yeah, but I missed two. What, did you make like how many tackles? Six or something. Oh what? Bro, Saturday night, could do nothing. Honestly. I was just in bed. <laughs> Legit, I could barely walk. Let's go, let's go. Nice, nice. Too much tackling. We had to tackle at the first half. Like, on that stat sheet, it said we made um, like 100 tackles compared to their like <laughs> 50 or something like that. Yeah, but bro, so I was really feeling it. We had 19 missed tackles. <laughs> You see the stats just like one, one, but two, one, zero, one. Yeah, it was. I don't know how he does it. He just dives at your freaking like knees. Who's this? Mason. Yeah. For, and wraps. What about Ollie? See him make that little run? Sad. He was yeah, on he, the track. He was the only line break. How about your your run in the second half? <laughs> oh, straight through the gap. <laughs> That was all Harry's pill, don't worry about it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I didn't think I was going through. I was bracing for contact and then went all open. See you while you try to chase you. Yeah, legit. Yeah, he tried to ankles at me. Nah, mate. So you looking for an off lane. I was, but Harvey is a little bit too deep. Oh, uh, what's the winger's name? Um, yeah, Shione, that one. He just shot me and I got the biggest cork in my right thigh. <laughs> Yeah, but man. Nah, at least we scored from that. He was a good ref. He was a good Except for when you got dragged out. Oh yeah, that was a bit, that was a bit slack. <laughs> By Robert Toyer. I got tackled and then he just dragged me out. Oh yeah. He just didn't release at all. What? Uh, on the sideline, just, I got tackled and then he just drags me out. <laughs> yeah, he just kept dragging. What <laughs> about celebration afterwards? Oh mate, it's too good. <laughs> running up Miskin Hill. That was something I'll literally never forget, ever. Crazy. Got there, yeah, seeing all the supporters from College Hall and then all the boys on the fence as well. Charlie. Something I'll never forget. Dad said the fence got broken too. Oh, yeah, for after. Yeah. Brisbane Boys College cannot lose their premiership, but they will share it if they drop their final game against Brisbane State High. Getting the team to focus won't be easy as the celebratory mood still lingers. All the boys wanted to make it their own. We wanted to be like the 15 boys who have won the first ever BBC Premiership, so I felt like that motivated us to stay motivated instead of thinking that we'd already won. For me, my job was just trying to help focus the forwards for the week ahead and remind them that we still have one job to do. We didn't want to slack off and we didn't want to neglect that we just like won a Premiership, but we didn't want to go overboard and say that we've won it outright already and State High is a bogey team, we're just going to go and roll them. We, had, we knew we had to train. We knew State High were going to be a tough opposition. There are lots of big boys and they're very solid in contact. And we knew that week was going to be a tough week for us and we didn't back off at training at all. We're really hungry to go for undefeated, um, to have this on our own. Don't invite these teams that we have beaten to share the podium with us, so there was that hunger. I was at Southbank yesterday with the Year 10s on their outdoor ed. I had complete strangers in the street stop and like congratulate me. I reckon the coolest thing was being down here 
and yeah. hearing them from College Hall. It's like there was this army up there. Like we couldn't see them, but we could hear them. And then when the fence collapsed <laughs> out there, and then we've got to strap the splint. Keeping players' bodies healthy and together until the season's end is a tough ask. I can't believe the process just for one little finger. But one battle is proving too hard to win. Until just now, but yeah, he He's done something to his groin on Tuesday. Yeah, he pulled straight well, yeah, out. But he's, yeah, but he said he's felt it even now. So, oh, really? Well, like, I did tell him not to play touch. How are you, mate? Great haircut. Is that the water polo haircut? Yeah, it looks amazing. <laughs> Feeling fast. I think everyone's pretty much switched on. Like, we're all in a light mood, but I think everyone's happy to yeah. get the job done and finish yeah, sure. finish the season well. But as a like, good individual players, but as a team, they just haven't been able to put it together. Yeah. But it, mate, all we got to do is make our tackles. Yeah. That's it. Obviously, big game tomorrow. I don't really need to talk too much about that. But um, I did just want to acknowledge it's last training session for all the year 12ers. Um, so make sure we enjoy it, okay, high energy and uh, you know we really want to focus in. I, I think on Tuesday was a little bit disrupted and a bit low but we want to bring the tempo back up today. Many teams have gone to state high and failed before on Thursday Road and their motivation is going to be very different to ours. You know for them they can be the only team in the comp to knock us off. That can be their success for the year. All right, let's come out here now. We're going to work on that. So just our folding around the corner. Let's go do that again. Are you guys right to go? The main ones we'll do is just a seven. We might get the back jumper to trigger. Okay. Good, good. Catch the bloody ball, Cadell. Hit my left, hit my left. My bad. <laughs> Touch. Help. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, far out. I think also there was just a you know a push to say, hey, have we played our best game yet? You know, we've still got one game left, um, and let's really strive for playing our best game together. Everyone knew that there was a job still to be done. Um, the coach really set it out to us that we're not done yet, and that we had one more game to push through. And all the boys were locked in. None of them um, were in the mindset of cruising. They all. Ready to finish, go hard, one more game, get it done. But I don't think anyone thought the season was over. Maybe the first few days after, I was like, wow, we really did it. But And of course, we had one hand on, on the Premiership trophy, but to, to be outright, we really had to knuckle down and focus. If we can get, get him in the Berkey this hour, though. Yeah. Right, I'll Doesn't necessarily have to be running now. Just head down and have a chat to Mike. So he said, just sit in the waiting room and he'll come out and get you. I'll text him and let him know that you're on the way down. Yeah. Just see what he says. In the nudge game, I would twinged my groin, but I had just ignored it. And then I went to training on Tuesday and I was just running and then felt it go. I couldn't even like run or train or do any anything. So I sort of knew then that it was sort of not going to happen. Let's go Alpha Tokyo. No. Alpha Tokyo. The Alpha, when I come around, he plays the short, gone hard. Oh, I don't know what Tokyo is. It's Target. Crash. Target. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, um, just say crash. When did we learn Alpha cra uh, Tokyo? We've been doing it all season. I think we just called it Alpha Crash. I don't think we've ever done it. Alpha we did it in train, we haven't done it in a game. <laughs> so. Nosebleed! Oh, Howie with the nosebleeds all the time. <laughs> My goodness. That's that haircut you got. It's made your nosebleed. See everyone laughing? It's not meant to be a joke. It's karma. It's not karma. This is a respectable haircut. I've had to restock these gauze so many times just for you. That's what happens when you train hard, Drami. Just a little tap and there's blood everywhere, huh? Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Do you think I like this haircut? Who did it? Well, you got it. Did you pay for it? Yeah, I got a mullet. Did you pay for that? Huh? Did, did you, you pay, didn't for, pay it? for that? Did you? What's that look? <laughs> he did do. What is that look? That's the worst money you'll ever spend. Did you really pay for it? How are we feeling, boys? Good. I think we look pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we asked for high energy, and I think for most parts of it, we got it. 
if you do enough prep, even if you don't rock up and your mind's not fully there, the preparation will get you through. So make sure we do that. We want a massive start. Okay, if we let this team get momentum, they'll just keep coming the whole day. Let's just focus on our game tomorrow. Um, I don't know, I've said it a lot this week, is, is, our, is our last game for us grade 12s and last game for a, of a pretty amazing season. And it'd be a shame if we went down and didn't play our best. Proud of you boys, we'll just bring it home tomorrow. Ready boys? Yeah. Brothers on three! One, two, three, boys! Hey Mike, so what's the verdict? 7 out of 10 pain on muscle testing. Okay. Hang on, Jeremy's here right now, hang on. Okay. Hey Berkey. Hello mate, how are you? I don't know, you tell me. No, I don't think it's good. Oh really? I couldn't, I couldn't in any way say that he'd be right to play with any confidence that he wouldn't be out in five minutes. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, tell him we'll, we might give him a, we'll give him the chance, but just keep it between us. Yeah. I'll talk to Mace, keep it between us and um, we'll give him every chance. Yep. But I'll also talk to Go Eye about it as well. Yep. Well, Harry's on his way back up there now, so you'll have to intercept him before he starts telling everyone. He's got, to have, a, he's got to have a groin strap on before he does a fitness test. What likelihood would you give him? Low. Very low. 20%. 20? At, be, at best. At I best. just want to call it now, so everyone knows what Call it doing. now? I reckon. Right, oh, right. You're just going to have to just wear it. Yeah. Yep. Rightio. Okay. I might right. go with that then. Cool. I'll let you know. Cheers, Berkey. Yep. Thanks, Mike. Right. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Yep. Bye bye. Disappointing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least you got next year. Yeah. You still played the big games, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. In 24 hours, the history books can be rewritten at long last. Brisbane State High stand in the way of the most compelling chapter in BBC's rugby story. Next time on the season. I think it's just more of a psychological thing for me. Oh, defense, mate! You know, make sure you find your moments to start thinking about your role. We need to win this game in the first 10 or 15 minutes. Let's go, Dimmy! Let's go, hit Jared! For more information on Brisbane Boys College, go to bbc.qld.edu.au.